Hi traders, this is uh, Crispin from FX Algo Trader here. It's 30th of November 2017. I've been pretty busy over the last few months developing some real-time percentage change analysis tools, mainly for the Forex space. Um, so we have a tool uh, in the generic product section down here. This is a basically called Market Detective, which is a real-time percentage change monitoring service. But the reason for this video is to talk about another tool which is really meant or aimed for the crypto market. So this is, um, all right, okay, so this is the crypto detective tool. And what this allows a trader to do is to set alerts for real-time percentage change data changes. Let me just show you for this to make this easy. So this is the tool here. I'm selecting the asset class which is cryptos instrument is Bitcoin so BTC USD and I can select any chart time frame I want and these chart time frames uh, are basically the same as the standard sort of uh, chart time frames you get on trading platforms such as MetaTrader etc and obviously if you're looking at cryptos something like Coinigy and so if I go for a 15 minute chart we now see the real-time percentage change data for Bitcoin on a 15-minute basis. So if I show price points, you can now see all these price points represent a candle, if you like. Uh, and this is the linear price history for Bitcoin over the 15-minute uh, over the, the time frame. Um, and we're plotting 200 periods. So I can reduce the number of periods to, say, 100. Now can you, you can see some interesting stuff going on here. So Yesterday, we saw the breakdown of the Bitcoin upside uh, momentum, and you saw some pretty big movements. So the idea behind this tool is a trader can set a threshold level, and the threshold level is simply a line which the trader can draw at any level they want. So if we look at these, these kind of like spikes here going to the downside, um, Potentially, prior to Bitcoin breaking down in price, we could have used these spikes down as an opportunity to enter the market. So if we go for a longer time frame, uh, this is quite a good example, actually. Let's get rid of these percentage change points. So Bitcoin, over the 60-minute periods, um, has been on a massive rally, as everyone knows. And by looking at these percentage change uh, spikes to the downside they represent really good buying opportunities and you could say well yeah that's fair enough but how about just setting a, a, an, a, uh, an alert based upon a specific price thing is the volatility of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies uh, is so high that a lot of these spikes don't necessarily line up with um, traditional support levels so you can see this this spike hit we saw here. This kind of like con coincides with this down movement here, which then was followed by kind of a pretty big move up to the upside. Upside, and that's you know what are we talking about here? That's about a four hundred dollar increment there. So you got a couple of hundred dollars in there without any trouble at all. Same thing here. You see the spike here coming down again, lining up with this spike down on price. And then again, a big rally to the upside. So we've gone from about 10 to up to the high of 11.173 on this chart here. And again, you've got to be careful. I mean, any, any really big spikes like we saw yesterday evening, um, yeah, the trends kind of arguably short term trend is down. And you can then obviously line that up with something like Crypto Compare if you look at the actual Bitcoin price movement over the last kind of day or so let's go one week you can see basically this sort of short-term uptrend here is broken down and um, we get seeing support levels around nine thousand um, dollars but <clears throat> let me show you what happened so if I look at my emails from yesterday evening in fact there's quite a few alerts which were generated from the system let's 
So you can see this is an example of, we, we saw um, an alert for Ethereum on the four hourly chart. We got a minus two and a half percent change, four hourly basis, and that was triggered at 7.26. That was in the evening. So let's have a little look at this, see what this looks like. Let's go to the Ethereum chart, 7.26 yesterday evening. So Ethereum, going to US dollars. candlesticks so let's go yesterday evening you see around about what time was our alert generated 7.26 I need to just amend that because that's running on the wrong uh, should be 24 hour clock so I just need to make some changes to the code there but so 7.26 in the evening and what do we see 19.30 big spike down so this was potentially a good <clears throat> long opportunity. We saw this low at 4.11. Again, this is the thing, guys. 4.11 isn't exactly kind of a, an obvious support level. 400 would have been psychological level, yes. Is 4.11 lining up with anything historically? Let's have a look. So 4.09, in fact, was that low. Not really, you know, so just going on to a slightly higher time frame. Are we seeing that lining up? 475. Not especially. So this is the point. You can use, if you use hard and fast um, trigger levels, and there are alert systems out there, you know, such as CoinWeek, which will give you alerts when physical levels are hit. Now, you've got to be exact about the level. There are also some pretty crude. Uh, percentage change alert services but they don't give you anything to go on I mean it's all, all very well saying okay well tell me when Bitcoin changes by uh, 1% well what use is that you know at the end of the day unless you unless you can look at a particular time frame and analyze a time frame and actually look at the actual hard percentages so you see this is where Bitcoin went over a cliff um, we saw you know a minus 7.38% movement to the downside and this is on a four hourly chart and you can, that's what that looks like so you need to have a graphical analysis system which is what this crypto detective tool does in order to allow you to actually analyze these cryptocurrencies properly and to set sensible percentage change thresholds in the same way you look at ethereum so when we're in an uptrend, these spike downs here are really good opportunities to enter long positions. So you're basically buying into weakness, which is what you want to be doing. Don't buy into strength because it will cost you. You know, you start buying in here and, you know, that's not so good. But if you're in an uptrend, which we have been in, in virtually all the cryptos for a long time, a tool like this will allow you to actually pinpoint really good places to actually enter long positions. In the same way, if we start to go into a downtrend, and if you're using margin trading or leverage on some of the brokerage accounts, which where you can place short positions, then great news. You could you, you could use spikes to the upside to actually go short. Not my cup of tea personally. I wouldn't want to be short on a lot of the crypto stuff. But again, when the futures market opens up next month on the CME, I believe around the 10th of December, there will be probably quite a lot of interest in taking. Um, short futures contracts on some of these cryptos which again this tool could be very useful for picking out highs so again you can you can trade or not trade but you can actually set up alerts on the seven cryptocurrencies here so Bitcoin Ethereum Ripple uh, Bitcoin Cash Litecoin Dash and uh, Monero so this is the system pretty straightforward if I want to set a, an alert Let's say, for example, I want to know the next time, let's go to, say, Bitcoin, and we'll go to the five-minute chart. And let's say, for example, I want to know the next time we see a spike down to around about these minus 1.6 levels. So I can just type in minus 1.6. You see this threshold is now created, and I can move the threshold around a little bit if I want to with the spinner controls or type hard values in. So I can go to maybe 1.55, that just shifts up a little bit. And I can then set some time frames when I want this alert to run. 
So dates, start, date, end, and hours and minutes, etc. If I want to, I can set alert notes. So, so, so let's call it BTC M5 long question mark. Then all I need to do is send that to the server, and then I can view my existing alerts on the server. Um, these are all alerts that have been triggered. And you can see this a new alert has been set up here with symbol, time frame, period, trigger level, start, stop, etc. The status is, is blank at the moment because the PRON manager, which now picks that up, when I go back in and refresh it, uh, it's now saying the status is now active. It's giving me a reference number. The system is sending emails to, there's a designated email address. And those, these, those emails, as I referred to earlier, look like this. Um, so you, you get the email sent typically the trigger time on this was 7.26, so pretty much 7.27, and the email was received a minute later. If you look at potentially the opportunities that these spikes can present, it's quite serious money that you can make. If you, if you want to day trade cryptos, particularly the high volatility crypto pairs, so I'm talking about probably the, you know, the, the top five by market cap, you know, you can make some, some pretty decent money if you're entering the market at the right time but the trick is know where you are you know are we in an uptrend on, on bitcoin at the moment no so you know we're, we're kind of we're in a short term downtrend so arguably be careful how you use the tool i think for the crypto market this crypto detective tool if you're a long only crypto trader which i think most people probably are we need to wait until we get into another kind of nice uptrending environment and then use this tool to buy the dips in the uptrend so going back to Bitcoin again on a longer time frame you know this is this is interesting here this is looking at a hundred hourly periods and you see these great opportunities where we've got spikes down opportunity spike down opportunity and again even on the longer time frames we've got to say something like daily some really cool stuff here so you know, really solid stuff. You had a ten percent swing. I mean, I think that was probably yeah, it's probably when sort of five thousand to three thousand move, um, and then this big spike. And same here, you got some more buying opportunities from these spikes down. What a look at that one! Beautiful, down to six thousand dollars, and then you saw that run up all the way. So, uh, so basically, folks, that is a bit of a sneak preview of this crypto detector tool I'm really hoping that it's going to give crypto traders a real advantage in terms of not having to kind of um, watch screens all day just set the alerts wait for the alerts trigger use sensible percentage levels not just arbitrary plucked out of the air you know tell me when Bitcoin goes down by five percent doesn't mean anything it could go down by another five percent and then if you go in blindly uh, it's not clever. So this is a much more analytical way of analyzing good entry points. It's kind of like mean reversion trading. So price always tends to come back to a median level. Um, if you want to find out more info, please contact me, info at fxargotrader.com. Thanks for watching.